seen it many times. Now, uh, all we're going to be doing today is really, really focusing on all the little nuances again, all the specifics, all the language, uh, all the little symbols, right? So it's kind of a review day, but asked in a different way, okay? Because I want, uh, obviously, for you to build Venn diagrams, but what if this was the question and all they give you is a description, which they will, right? This is uh, 100 students in a high school were uh, asked regarding movies they watched in the last two weeks. And of course, these are not true names or else someone would get sued. So P represents the number of students who watched Perfect Rebel. C represents the number of students who watched Chill. And D represents the number of students that watched Dazed. Now, this is a diploma question here. And they would just ask one of the following below. Okay? Now, just by looking at that number there, do we know what that means? What does it mean? They watched all three. Okay? And is that... Who can describe what that is? Okay, I need you to be specific with that. Say it again. Okay, so they watched Perfect Rebel and Chilled, but not Dazed, or they watched only Perfect Rebel and Chilled, right? Like, so it's those little things, and they're going to have A, B, C, D, and you don't want to be, ah, crap, is it that one or is it that one? Like, that's, a, that's not a good place to be, and that's why I want you to be so definite with these right? So all I want you to do right now, again, I'm just going to pause the taping, and it's fast. I just want you to do A, B, A to G, okay? Fill in the numbers. If you get it wrong, okay, so as you read through these, you probably saw, or you see how they are trying to just change them a little bit to be able to mess with you, right? Because they're not giving away diploma marks, right? You do have to know the little nuances or else, yeah, you will get them wrong. Now, obviously A and B would be conflicting. You do not want to wonder which one is which. So how many are we saying for A? Three. How many for B? Eleven. Okay, so watched Perfect Rebel is all of these, correct? Okay, watched only Perfect Rebel would be just that one. Does that make sense? Okay, good. So I won't catch anybody on the unit exam, right? Now, how many watched chill and dazed. Okay, so we got people saying two and we've got people saying eight. Okay, let's figure it out. So how many students watched chilled is obviously here and dazed is here. Okay, did these these people watch chilled and dazed? And usually means, usually means the football, right? Okay, see, I'm glad we had this little talk. Better today than, okay, so you can obviously see what kind of stuff I want on the quiz tomorrow too to make sure you're getting these. Okay, so remember that we're looking for the football because Six is part of those people that saw it. Now, I know they saw Perfect Rebel as well. I'm not saying they didn't, but they did see those two movies, C and D. Okay? Now, how many people watched Chilled or Dazed? How okay, what do we got? I heard a 95. What else? 
87. Okay, so here's another one that's gray, obviously. Some people are... Uh, so how many students watch Chilled and Dazed? I would assume we're talking this, correct? Yes? Okay, now the 87. How did we get 87? Did we... Forgot the 6. That's still not enough. And the ones, right? So those people just did that. Okay, so we want to be really specific that these people too did watch it. Okay, so again, yes, these can be tricky. Okay, how many students watched all three? Okay, now how many students watched Perfect Rebel or Chill or Dazed? Okay, so these people, no movie, right? So what does the two outside represent? Okay, no movies. What does the number two inside the circle represent? Only watched. C and D, not A, not P, yep, okay. Now, again, all I want you to do is shade what they're talking about, okay. Again, okay. A and B. Let's talk about that one first. Now, first of all, let's write this on top because that's what that meant. A and B. What's the other way to say it? Intersection B. Yes. Okay. So, should be thinking football. So, hopefully we shaded that. A or B, how would I write that? A, U, okay, so please write the symbols above because do not, um, what can I say, say do not, like we can't be at a test going, crap, which one means which, that for sure is, you're not ready. Like you shouldn't have gone to the exam, you weren't ready for it, if you still don't know the difference between those two. Okay, and that one, you should have shaded that. Correct? Okay. Next one, A and not B. Now, we were doing it as A not B, right? There's another way, because I was going through diplomas that they will say, it will be A and not B. Okay, A and not B. Now, that's the complement of B, but that means not B, right? It means everything but B. So A and not B, hopefully we didn't get into there, and we're going to shade like that. Okay, does that make sense? And the last one is A and not B and not C. Now, I've never seen the slash slash ever before. Okay? I've seen it with the two, A not B. Uh, so this is the way it will probably be. Now A and not B 
and not C. It means do not shade in any B. Do not sh shade in any C. So hopefully we got that. Okay? So again, just being really careful that we're going over this again and make sure everybody gets it. Okay? Now, um, the other is if they just give you the numbers and you have to come up with the entire Venn diagram. So again, I just want to, I'm going to pause tape, see if you can make this Venn diagram. And what you want to do is look for the for sures. Like this one right here, that's money, right? Everybody knows where that one should go. That's our middle. That helps a lot. And then you got ands. What do ands represent? So this is your middle. What do ands represent? Yeah, what do ands always represent? Yeah, that's my footballs, right? Like I want you to remember those stupid cheesy things when you're in the diploma, right? It, it, trust me, you just feel like I got this one, okay? Seen it a million times, done this one. Okay, so just see if you can fit, fill this in quick. It should take you about two minutes. So let's see if you got this. Now, first of all, your middle should be 25. And then it said 52 drank root beer and Coke. So my football, I'm going to go 52 minus 25, and I should get 27 there. Those two together should equal 52, which they do. Uh, cross it out, maybe, because I already did it. 43, Coke and orange. Coke and orange. So that's that one. So 25, 43 minus 25. I should get 18 there. Then my last football is 57, drink root beer and orange. So these two equal... 57, right? So far, so good? Okay, now it said 92 drank root beer. So my entire root beer should equal 92. So 27 plus 25 plus 32 minus 92 gives me 8, right? Then I'm going to Coke, 115, right? So 115 minus 27 minus 25 minus 18 should give me 45. Okay. Then the last one is orange. I'm going to go minus 18. 100 minus 18 minus 25 minus 32. And I got 25. Right? What's that? That only equals 180. So some people I said you weren't totally done. You needed that 5 there. Again, subtle but a killer. Remember on the quiz if we left that out? You're like, is it wrong? And I'm like, oh, yes, it should be wrong. But I forgot to look at it when I was coming around. But okay, so right, so this all equals... 180, right? But it said 185. Therefore, remember, our universal set must include everybody. Okay, so this is like... Okay, so all of these questions below are the same things as above. It use... Uh, you know, if we don't determine how many students drank only Coke, okay, we should be saying 45. How many did not like any of the drinks? Five. And the excellence diploma question, I think, will be this one. Because they'll give you all of this, and they'll say, how many people did not like any of the drinks? They will not have the five there. Just like I didn't have the five there. Right? But that would be an excellence question. Okay? 
So that's what I see excellence. Like if that's their 9, 10 out of 10 difficulty. Is it impossible? No. Is it a bit of work? And do you have to know a lot of stuff to do it? That's why they call it an excellence question, right? Uh, that would This would be what I would, that's an, a numerical response question right there, right? You just put a five in and you're done, right? But it takes probably three, four minutes to get to that five. And they're unnerving because, like I hope it's five. Did you get five? That's what you mean when you walk out. You're like, did you get five for that one? Yes. Oh, yeah. And you don't want to talk to anybody else, right? I got what I needed to know. I do not want to hear that it's six or four from anybody else. I'm happy. <coughs> Yeah, it's when it's when one guy's got six and eighty other people have five, and y that guy's like trying to convince everybody they're wrong. Well, it might be you. <coughs> I've had I don't know how many students I know have marked their diploma when they've come out. Like I had a girl going in uh, with a hundred, and uh, when I talked to her the next day, or no, an hour later, she goes, "I got one wrong." Yeah, she knew. Right, because everybody talks, right? And, uh, yeah, I mean, it sucks, but she knew, right? Yeah, I got one wrong. And she did. She got one wrong in the diploma. Uh, no, actually, because I usually come in after, like, September-ish, and then I go, hey, what were the diploma results, right? So, so how many people drank Coke or root beer? No. Nope. How many people drank Coke or root beer? Okay, so Coke or root beer? What are we saying? 155. So basically, it's every number on there except for the 25, right? Well, yeah, I, we're just I just add these up. 45, 27, 8, 32, 25, 18. Okay? So, but we're pretty good at those now, right? So, the homework, I want you to do 1 to 9 all. Now, they're fast questions and the challenge. Should be the next page. She's all in there. Okay, so you will finish it in class, right? It's another another day of getting it all done. Oh, thanks. There's some.